Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name's Christine. And in this video, I'm showing you the latest tonic craft kit. This one is called the Sweetheart Bouquet. And as I've mentioned before, craft kits are always fun to get because you get a whole slew of products that work together um, that you can have some fun with. So let's open it up, see what we got this time. So this is our bag of embellishments and stuff. I'm gonna put it aside. Um, I have a new binder to put my dies in. Here we have the dies and stamps, and this is some paper. So let's start with the dies and stamps. Now I've, I've already used the kit, so that's why uh, my dies are like this. And as you can see, I don't always clean my dies in terms of getting the paper out. I'll do that next time. So when we first get our dies here, we know that it is basically uh, card fronts and it has like a square to go on top and some little add-ons. Um, it's very decorative. There's flowers on that and there's a few words. I'll just show you this one here just so you can see I cut it out and it says love and hugs. So it gives you some idea of what that one is and then these are just decorative. And then this one here I've used on a card, so I'll be showing you that one. So those are the dies. And then the stamps are some nice little greetings. Thank you, best wishes, missing you, always in my thoughts. And so these sets are really great because you can just use them over and over for all your little greetings on your cards. Next, I'm going to move to these papers. Now what's great about um, Tonic is they have a paper line, Craft Perfect, and there's so many different types of paper that you can get some really fun things. So again, as I said, I've already used some of them, so you'll see them in projects, but you can see here's like a mirrored purple paper. This one, I think I just put it in. This is one of their papers I like to use. It's the pearlescent white, but I don't think it came with the kit. I had just been using it. These papers, are going to be there. Um, there's a nice glitter paper. We have this sort of corally paper. This is just like a regular card stock. Put it this way. And then sort of a lilac card stock. There is a print. It's double sided. There is sort of like a silvery pearlescent, a greeny pearlescent, um, a creamy cardstock, and then these sort of handmade papers. You can see the cool design on that one. And then this sort of blue one. So then in our embellishments, There is another paper pad. That's where those papers came from. There's four different papers. You have the holographic, um, the, this is where the pearlescent silver came from. A nice little silver glitter. And then this craft one with the silver stripes. And then for the embellishments, we have uh, Mica Mist. This is in Pink Carnation. Nouveau Crackle Paste in Water Nymph. We have some Vintage Drops. This one is Peppermint Candy. Um, embossing Powder in Classic Silver. Expanding Mousse in Misted Mauve. And then um, I got the Lilac Blooms, Little Sequins. Sometimes these are, um, you'll get different kits will have a different, there's like probably three or four maybe to choose from. Well, you don't choose, that will come. 
um, so it will differ for kids. Now I just want to point out here with these items, the th and one thing I love about the kit is that in the kit you get them in smaller sizes. So this is a great way to experiment with different uh, products because with embossing powder, you can buy a container that will last you like your lifetime. So I like having just small little bits that you can use and try. And then if you do really like the color or the style, you can buy the larger one. But I really like getting these smaller little more sample sizes in the kits. So I will move on to what I made. So here is the first card I made. And what I did is I took some of the papers and I cut strips so it would fit into it. This is like just five and a quarter, I think. And so I cut strips of the papers that I thought went well together. And I used a gel medium and glued them just on a printer paper. Now I just wanted to put it on a light paper. So when I cut the die, it wasn't cutting through a lot of thicknesses. Now, the one thing I did notice though was um, with the glitter papers, because there's that layer of gel medium there, when I went to cut it, it didn't cut all the way through all of it. And so I did have to go in with an X-Acto knife to get some of the cuts out. Whereas with the other three, I had no problem cutting through with the layer of paper and the gel medium. But this just gives you another way you can create your own backgrounds. Um, you can glue any papers you want down and then cut it out and it just gives you a different look to the card. And then I cut the square and I just use the stamps and then some um, distress inks around just to give it a, it's very slight little definition. Just to show you one thing with this card is I did it um, I used the die and I cut the card out using just not cutting it on that side. So for this one, it was one piece of paper for the card that I cut because I do it a couple different ways. So here's my next card and just talking about it, I'll just show you. For this one, I cut two of these and then I just put a little um, score line and glued it on. And so that's how this card opens. So it's just a little different. But this one, what I did is I took my die and I cut it out of black paper to make a stencil. And then I used the expanding mousse and I put it through the stencil to form the background. Now, however, I didn't heat it. So I didn't actually expand the mousse. I wanted it flat because I didn't want it. I wanted to see the details and definition in that. And so I didn't actually heat it. You can, if you heat it, it'll sort of puff up, but if you don't heat it, it'll be smooth. And so that just shows you, you can use the dye as a stencil um, to create backgrounds. And then this is cut out of the paper that I'm gonna show you next that I made. But that is the Thinking of You um, dye that I was showing you in the kit. So here is the next card. I haven't glued this on yet because I wanted to show you underneath. But so what I did is I like to use the different mediums. And so I took my expanding mousse, I took the crackle mousse, and I took the vintage drops. And I put the vintage drops down and then with a palette knife put it through that stencil that I had made that I just showed you. And so I formed like you can see the flower there, that's the vintage drops. You can see like the crackling here um, with the crackle mousse. And then this is the expanding mousse. And what I did was when it was wet, I poured some of my sequins on top of it. And because um, of the type of medium it is, they just stuck to it. So then when I cut out, I think, so this is why I wanted to just show you, you can see here, and then I also sprayed um, the mica mist because all these products work really well on black. So there's mica mist, we have crackle mousse, we have the vintage drops, we have the expanding mousse, we have the sequins, and it just gives you that really interesting background. You can see here there's crackle and the different colors. And 
even though when you put it here, it might look all messy. By the time you cut it out, you can have a really interesting background. And then, so this will cover up some of it, but I'll still see some of these sequins all through here. And then this was a stamp that I embossed. Now, here are the little um, adhesives. I just want to show you. They're from Craft Perfect, and they're just little dimensional adhesives. And I like them because they're not too high and it's easy to, you can put it on and it forms dimension, but if you wanted to do a few layers, you don't end up with a really tall card. Um, you can sort of layer them on and it's just a nice little height to it. So I'll just um, adhere that on. And then for this card, if I can get it open, I did it this way. So I cut, and this time I left the top part, so it opens up. And then I just want to show you one more adhesive in case you haven't used it. It's um, the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, and I've been using this to glue down all my die cutting and when I made all the boxes and that. And what I like about it is you can get like a really thin line. and. And so when I'm gluing this down, I'll put the adhesives around the outside and then we're in some of the spots to glue it down. So you can use it and get a really thin adhesive and it does its initial drying quite quick. So it will hold um, pretty fast. When I'm doing boxes, then I like to let them sit for a while, but it's a really great adhesive I've been using all the time for all my die cutting and box making. So in case you haven't, um, tried using it. I just wanted to recommend the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. So that is my cards I made with the Sweetheart Bouquet craft kit. You can see, um, even though they're the same sort of design, there's different applications you can use to get um, completely unique projects. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple of the videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.